गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ सिविक सेक्शन दैट इज ग्रोइंग अप एज बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स राइट स्टूडेंट्स यू माइट हैव सीन द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ बिहेवियर ऑफ द डिफरेंट फैमिलीज डिफरेंट पर्सन टूवर्ड्स द बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स right now these days you have seen in your families that boys and girls are equal there is no discrimination in the most of the families parents uh, do not discriminate among boys and girls right but in the primitive society and in the recent years in the recent uh, time also there are some families who still discriminate between boys and girls how they discriminate it how the parents and the families and the persons behave uh, and took them as boys and girls and they differentiate them by their work by their way they playing by their way they school go, go to school etc right so basically there is inequality between boys and girls in our society right how this inequality going to be changed how this inequality has been changed what are the steps taken by the government or the society to you know, bring the change in this inequality right so to find out these type of question this type of inequality we saw in our society in our country we will read this chapter thoroughly in this chapter we will read the two case studies and by the help of these two case studies we will find the way by which the boys and girls treated differently right so come to the first one first case study that is of samoa island and it is of in the 1920s so growing up in samoa in the 1920s growing up in samoa means samoa is a small island right it is a part of a large group of small islands which are found in the southern part of the pacific ocean right so we are talking about a small island you know that the persons who belongs to the uh, to an island they lived a very primitive Uh, society they have a primitive nature right so there is a less development all these things happen in an island like uh, samoa so growing up growing up means when a kid is growing up when a kid is growing up and he becomes a man and woman what are the different stages and what are the different behaviors towards them right so come to the first case study in the 1920s according to the research reports on samoan society children did not go to school as i told you that it is a primitive society where the development is not occurred yet and the education is not so important so mostly all the children did not go to the school they learned many things beside going to the school they learned many things such as how to take care of children or do household work from older children and from uh, adults they are adults and they are uh, they are brother and sister their elder brother and sister taught them how to take care of children how to do the household work right fishing was a very important activity on the island young people therefore learned to undertake long fishing expeditions now the people when the boys became young they are taught how to catch the fish but they learn these things at different points in their childhood means how to take care of the children how to do, do to do household work and how to do the do the fishing process they are taught at the different points at the different time of their childhood what are these different times 
As soon as babies could walk, their mothers or other adults no longer looked after them. Students, now you are in seventh standard, right? You are uh, young enough, but still you are dependent on upon your uh, parents for each and every need, right? But in the Samoa, what would happen if a baby could walk? Right? It means uh, if he or she is only of three to four years, their mother and adults no longer looked after them. Who then who looked after them? Because it's too young to uh, to fulfill their needs their own. So who will looked after them and looked after them if their mother? or their adults are not looking after them. Our older children, often as young as five years old, took over this responsibility. Even the five year child or your old child is too young. But in Samoa Island, that is the responsibility of a five years old child to look after his young siblings, right? So both boys and girls looked after their younger siblings. But at that time, boys and girls are uh, have not been discriminated at the age of five, right? Both do the same work. They looked after their younger siblings. But by the time a boy was about nine years old, he joined the older boys in learning outdoor jobs like fishing and planting coconuts. You are still studying. You are not care about your earning or all that processes. Right? But in Samoa Island, if a boy grows up to nine years old, he joined his elder younger brother, uh, elder brothers and learn how to do fishing and how to do planting coconut crops. Girls at the age of nine, what is the task of the girls? Girls had to continue looking after small children or do errands for adults and until they were teenagers, right? So when they are of nine years old, the girls are the, doing the same work and they are uh, they are preparing the food for the adults, right? So at the nine, age of 19, there is a division of work between boys and girls. Boys go to, uh, go to uh, outdoor jobs and girls have to look after their younger brother and sister. But once they became teenagers, they had much more freedom. Now, when they became teenagers, they have means 13 to 14 years, they have more freedom. After the age of 14 or so, girls also went on fishing trips, worked in the plantation, learned how to weave baskets and do cooking. Now, at the age of 14, there is a different type of work which the girls do. They also do some outdoor jobs like fishing, plantation, weaving baskets, and moreover, cooking. Right? So, this is a situation in Samoa Island where you saw that the boys and girls are treated equally at the age of five, but when they are going up to nine year age, there is a different kind of jobs they do. Right? Now, the second case study is of Madhya Pradesh, growing up male in Madhya Pradesh in the 1960s. Now we are talking about the time of 1960s in Madhya Pradesh, what type of situation was prevailing at that time in Madhya Pradesh. The girls' school was designed very differently from the boys' school as in the small islands, no one went to the school. But in Madhya Pradesh in 1960s, boys and girls went to the school, but girls' schools are designed differently from the boys' school. What different was um, difference was there? They had a central courtyard where they played in total solution and 
safety from the outside world because they felt that the outside world is not safe for the girls so in the recess we can say in the mid time of schooling they play in the courtyard which is in the uh, school right not outside of the school so they are not allowed to go outside in in school time but what about the boys the boys school had no such courtyard they do not have any central courtyard and our playground was just a big space attached to the school so their playground is outside of the school while girls playground is in the school right so here is the one difference about the schooling of boys and girls in madhya pradesh when school get over when the school got over, there is different situations for boys and girls how did they see as these girls walked on the streets they looked so purposeful right when they go to the street if the girls go to the streets go to the market for some purpose right for this was unlike the boys but boys did not do the same they go to the streets they play uh, they as a place to stand around idling to play to cry out tricks with their bicycles right uh, means they do full on masti in the streets while the girls do only some work in the streets they go to the streets for some work while the boys do only masti they stand they are idling they play they crying all these things full masti for the girls the streets was simply a place to get straight home right so after the school they have to go home straight the girls always went in groups perhaps because they also carried fears of being teased or attacked because there is no safety for the girls child so they move on only in groups no single girl move in the street they always walk in group the due to the safety purpose correct here you can see in this picture there is a playground for boys outside the school but there is indoor play for girls right secondly if we are talking about the boys and girls we must know what is gender because there is gender inequality we are talking about the gender inequality so what is gender human population division on the basis of biological factors that is called gender that is male or female means boys and girls men and women right so by these two examples above we realize that there are many different ways of growing up so people took different type of behavior towards the boys and girls so they took different ways while they are growing up from their childhood to the adult age and adult to men and women right so we also realize that societies make clear distinctions between boys and girls in the two stories we saw that all these two society make differences between boys and girls different type of boys uh, differences are there this begins from a very young age right in the samoa island we saw that it begins from the age of 9 uh, right it is it is too young age right so in this when this discrimination begins from a very young age and it continues till they became adult right so our behavior will change as we uh, we are treated in the childhood so we are for example given different toys to play with boys are usually given cars to play with and girls toys right so that uh, the toys we used are different for the boys and girls both toys can be a lot of fun to play with why are girls then given dolls and boys cars right to because to play with these toys have a great fun 
while it is a car while it is a doll whatever it is but why we discriminate it why we are discriminate making discrimination when we give a gift to any boy or any girl twice become a way of telling children that they will have different futures when they become men and women means twice or also depicting the behavior when they will go to men and women men will go to for the outside work women have to take care of their houses right similarly their their twice are uh, of a symbol of like uh, this like of behavior how girls must dress what games boys should play how girls need to talk softly or boys need to be tough right so there is a difference when a girl shout her mother or even we can we also said that you are a girl you must talk softly right you must not cry right so when a boys shout it then it's okay right so if a girl is abusing it is ghost but if a boy is using abuse word it is not all right so in the society by the birth it, it this different type of discrimination is prevailing by in the games they play by the dress they wear by the uh, way of talking all these are way of, ways of telling children that they have specific roles to play when they grow up to be men and women right so la, later in life this affects this subject we can study or the careers we can choose right because as i told you that the cars you know, gifting cars to the boys it means they are for the um, outer jobs and if we are gifting the roles it means it is your role in the future you have to take care of your houses your families and all that right so it is um, depicting the careers we will choose in the future so here you can see some more examples twice of twice and games which uh, from which the boys and girls plays for boys mostly they use cars guns action figures sports like football volleyball cricket all these are related to the outside games outer games right why the girls are uh, playing with cooking items store houses fashion fashion why it means it uh, it is depicting that in the future they have to do the same work they have to cook food they have to uh, take care of their children or families they have to soon do that some tailoring work or all that right so by the birth by the childhood they are teaching how they will go and how they have to do work as they when they will be men or women so there can be seen the differences in the dresses of boys and girls no doubt in the uh, in this time there is no difference between the boys and girls wearing little bit difference is there but girls also wear the same clothes as a boy wear boys wears but in, in the most of the society in the most of the families and still there is a discrimination there is a separate dresses girls could not wear what the boys wear so there is basically the differences origin from our family who makes this differences we the family makes such type of differences because we uh, we burst these things in the mind of children that right that you are a boy you are a girl you have to uh, behave like this you have to behave like this right so this differencing origin from our family and it continues when we grow up to men and women in the picture you can say there is a domestic violence it means men's primitive society is there right so men is superior men have the muscles power men have all the power right so this difference is basically origin from our family now 
the second aspect is unequal value to work if the men and women are doing the same work there is no value of women work even if they are doing some different type of work women's household work is of no value in our societies right so in most societies including our own the roles men and women play or the work they do that how this difference exists in the work done by men and women right there is a difference between the work of men and women here is a story in your chapter textbook textbook that uh, there is a uh, children there is a student who is going to the excursion and her his mother always go with him right so uh, he said that he, she did not do any kind of work she simply do household work so she is free once a time one what happened her neighbors said that that uh, why don't you take a leave for a day and let them do the work which you do for them but in short the father and the Uh, child was very happy with it with it when the day come and they do the work what the mother is doing for them they were fed up they they realize how much work she do for them she wake up in the morning and till the night she prepared all these all the things for them she did did a lot of work for their families she uh, it is such a very difficult job right so but in reality most of the families they do not value of a household lady value household housework across the world the main responsibility for housework and care giving tasks like live looking after the family especially children the elderly and sick members lies with women well, means it is the responsibility of a woman that they have to look after their family they have to take care of their children their elders means the old age people and the sick people only it is the responsibility of a woman in the family the work that women do within the home is not recognized as work what whatever your mother do for you she wake up she prepare breakfast for you she uh, iron your clothes she helps to uh, she helps you to uh, to study in all and every aspect of your life she helps you but you never recognize her work her mother tired at night but you never recognize right so she, you and your family even including us also most of the families in the most of the families children and the father and the male persons always think that it is a simple job what they are they are doing they are simply cooking or washing clothes what is the work this this is no this needs no physical strength. and we are the males we have to go to out out of the uh, uh, houses we have the responsibility to earn all these things need a lot of physical and mental work what is the household work this kind of um, conversation this kind of talkings can be seen in most of the families of the, our country it is also is that this is something that comes naturally to women it therefore does not have to be paid for so it is a natural work of women to take care of their families to do work for their families so they are not paid for their work right so and society devalues this work so that's why the society gives no value to a household lady so in the picture you can see the difference origin from our family 
regarding work work of female and work of male here you can see the different kind of work the woman is doing they are cleaning their houses they are taking care of their children old age people seeking sick people washing clothes etc while in the work of male you can see they are plucking the fields so outside work is of male and inside work of is of women that is the base of our families now lives of domestic workers how is the life of domestic workers many homes particularly in towns and cities employ domestic workers like uh, in your families they are uh, maybe there is a maid for uh, cleaning your house right but if you valued her work if you paid so much to them as they work for you they do a lot of work sweeping and cleaning washing clothes and dishes cooking looking after young children or the elderly most domestic workers are women but women's work is not valuable in our society sometimes even young boys or girls are also employed to do this work wages are low right they work for us for, from morning to evening but we did not paid them according to their work as domestic work does not have much value because if we are not valued uh, the work of our mother or our sisters then how could the males uh, give the value the give the value to a worker which is a lady right who is a lady right to so, uh, a domestic worker stay can begin as early as 5 in the morning and end as late as 12 at night despite the hard work they do they do work more from morning to night but their employers often do not show them much respect this is what melani a domestic worker had to say about experiences of working in delhi you must read the story of melani from your test textbook she uh, she said that she is a domestic worker in delhi but his, her owner did not pay any attention any respect to towards her she worked for them from morning till evening so she paid very little and despite of all these she had no value right so household works basically what we conclude household works that is physically demand right household work but such as cleaning cooking or laundry but they are right for the females the females are doing these jobs for family then they are not paid that and the values for our society now housework require heavy right in fact housework work actually involves many different tasks a number if you have to clean the house which requires strength right so in those rural and urban areas women and girls have to fetch water it also uh, they have to fetch water from uh, a long distance it requires their physical strength in rural areas women and girls carry heavy loads of fire or firewood it also need to be tasks like washing clothes cleaning sweeping and cleaning of clothes require bending lifting and carrying so it also required their physical strength right so but the male of our society didn't recognize that they need also they also need physical uh, strength and they do even physical chores like cooking involves standing for long hours in front of course stop the work 